Let's take a closer look at targets in Too Many Bones. Melee baddies will always pursue the closest opposing unit. So that's the one with the route with the fewest positions to move towards. So in this particular example, the griffin yearling is denoted as a melee baddie by the two swords in the icon to the left of the chip. Whereas the dragon whelp up here is denoted as a ranged individual by the bow symbol in the icon. We'll focus on the melee baddie first. If it was the melee baddie's turn in the initiative meter, then this individual, the griffin yearling, would be activating and attacking an individual in an adjacent spot. In this particular case, it would be Tantrum. However, in another situation where Boomer happened to be adjacent as well, then this is where the targeting would come into play. You'd look in the targeting icon and you'll notice an individual with its arms down. That means the Griffin Yearling will be focusing on the gear lock, which has the least amount of HP. In this case, it would be Boomer who's gonna take that damage or that attack because Tantrum currently has two health, whereas Boomer only has one. In another example, in terms of ranged baddies, they don't move whatsoever when they attack. They just attack from where they are based on their target symbol. So you take a look at the target symbol and you'll notice in this particular example that the arms are up in the strength position or strong position, and that means it's gonna go after the gear lock on the mat, wherever it is on the mat, with the most HP. There are times where particular baddies can actually have two individuals or two people showing up within the target symbol. However, you'll have to also look to see whether their arms are up or down to let you know whether it's attacking the two strongest uh, gear locks on the mat or the two weakest gear locks on the mat. But also know that it will not attack the same target more than once per turn.